Yeah, buddy. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Charles, for getting it big, doing it big, fail, doing it big here with the uh, next Q&A. I'm trying to get it down. We got ourselves the Sega Dungeon and the Power Stone. So the question I've been getting asked the most, what should I focus on? Should I focus on the Sega Dungeon or the Power Stones? And I'm going to say Power Stones. I'm going to say Power Stones because um, these don't come but more than... Uh, you know, how do I say, uh, more than once every, I want to say a couple of months, it seems like once every two months or something like that, maybe three. And, you know, obviously it's a little bit more RNG based as far as, you know, how you get it, you know, how you get them. You know, I've seen people that had their hundred power stones after two days. And I've seen people like myself, um, that have constantly been stuck around the 40 to 75 range of stones, you know, by the end of the week. So um you know there is a lot of money to be made uh with regards to uh, doing secret dungeons consistently and just you know grinding it out with energy refills but um the opportunity to generate um energy mana stones mystical scrolls 250 crystals total to me is well worth the effort as far as uh taking advantage of just regular farming in addition um you know if this is a great opportunity for you um, to, you know, looking at a, you know, future six star, um, or whatnot, you know, obviously getting in there and, um, uh, getting it done, whoops, fail, getting it done with the, uh, Fimon farming is going to be, um, a lot better for you because you'll be able to take advantage of the, of the power stones and the, um, you know, the double XP if you're rocking a double XP, so, as far as whether or not to do, you know, normal or hell, I think we're just gonna have to go on the on the uh, thought process of um, the energy return and money return. Uh, you know, more specifically, energy return in this particular situation is so great um, in Feynman, um farming that I think the best bet is still to do normal. Now I'm trying to do hell mode because I got no, <laughs> I got no patience when it comes to. Um, getting Kaz uh, knocked out, so I'm trying to do it as quick as possible by just um, power leveling him um, and you know getting him to 40 as soon as possible. So, um, of course, I could definitely um, um, you know get him there um, with the, you know a better chance of doing you know normal um, and doing better chance of getting power stones by doing normal because I just you know I just have more opportunities utilizing only three energy versus five. However. Um, I have, you know, for this particular time being, I'm trying to get him up to level 40 ASAP, and then I will go ahead and incorporate, you know, incorporate him into things to come um, in the future, and then go back to regular uh, normal farming. So yes, uh, Fimon farming for Power Stones versus Secret Dungeon. Yep, jump on it uh, for the Fimon farming. Definitely take advantage of it now. Um, again, guys, we only have a few days left. I believe it's uh, around the 27th, 28th. Um, that this thing uh, finishes out um, and then we're going to be coming up on the following week with a uh, potential rune removal so that's going to be big um, playing accordingly because uh, normally you know three to five days prior to the weekend's event they'll go ahead and announce kind of what's going on so uh, for those that have seen my other videos um, having a plan when it comes to rune removal day is uh, very very important especially for the uh, free-to-play community because this is our one opportunity every month to uh, move around all the runes of our units right and so in addition um, being able to move them around test things out um, you know in various you know trial them out in the dungeons and the arena um, it's going to be awesome so I'm looking forward to it um, as far as anything else to add with regards to rune removal day uh, in the future um, I would say, uh, you know, obviously, you know, plan accordingly, but make a list, make it like a priority list. What's your goal? Are you still working on, um, you know, getting a composition together for giants and need, you know, the best rooms on your giants team? Um, are you currently working on trial of ascension? Are you currently, um, you know, working on a team that works for dragons or are you, are you trying to, you know, maximize your, your arena team to help you climb up? For not only arena but guild wars you know there's a lot of things that you could be focusing on i see way too many people trying to do uh oh ooh, let's go double samurai aidance i didn't know you had a water samurai too so my man that dude's a beast he has everything um 
but uh, no, it's definitely definitely a great opportunity to prioritize and figure out what you know what your game plan is and uh, plan accordingly. Um, a really cool website that I want to uh, show you guys real quick um, is called um, sw.toolshack.ch sw.toolshack.ch so give me one second I'm gonna go ahead and pan over to it here all right guys we're back we're back um, at this website right here let me go ahead and zoom it in sw.toolshack.ch if you don't know this website you gotta learn today baby you gotta learn today so definitely one of the websites that i utilize on rune removal day and i believe you should too why because you have the opportunity to look at all units um all stats and even uh you know their skills if you kind of highlight this a search window you get an opportunity to see everybody's skills what happens when you skill them up at each particular level and uh, how many you know devil mind will take to max it out in addition all the details of everything and anything when it comes to this unit so why is this important because sometimes you get a unit uh such as uh you know my, my the one that i got right and so um it allows you right to kind of plan accordingly when it comes to um, stats per se. So uh, let me give you kind of an example. So right now, um, you know, I've seen a wide variety of beast monks and generally um, I see that even though they have the potential to get upwards, you know, of 50k with godly runes, um, generally a good, you know, good ballpark, you know, number to be at uh, is 40k plus. So, you know, with a, with a, with a um, website like this, if you don't have the unit uh, maxed out six star, you won't be able to you know, estimate um, the base stats um, when maxed. So as you can see on the right here, uh, you know we have all the basic stats, so you can kind of compare and contrast. If you're looking at a particular unit and want to check out their counterpart to see how their stats match up, you know you'll be able to do that, right? As you can, you know, basically you can type in um, the name of the unit that you're looking at. Um, whether it's name, awaken name, you know, whatnot, and then type it in here, select it, and, uh, you know, and, and you can, you know, obviously uh, be more specific if you want to look at uh, a certain name or if you want to look at all the three stars. You can definitely, you know, three star fire, three star water, whatever. You can, you can be more specific um, if you're trying to look at all cowgirls. You can, you know, do so by typing in cowgirl up here and it will pull up all the cowgirls, you know, take a look at the stats and compare. It was like, which one, which one is better, which one is weaker, so on and so forth. And in addition, uh, the role that they play in the in the game, whether it's attack, uh, hit point, you know, support or defense, um, is plays a vital role because generally um, whichever role they have is going to be their, their kind of big, you know, stat, so to speak, uh, on the end. So... Uh, if you haven't checked this out, definitely take the time to look at it. A lot of, a um, lot of things to, um, you know, that you can look at, check out various stats, and uh, even um, an opportunity to look at um, some ratings, uh, which is pretty darn cool. Now, I actually have the uh, his spreadsheet that he posted on the forums, uh, the official forums. There's a spreadsheet going on, so that you can see um, how he ranks. Uh, you know everything all the stuff and so here um, we'll kind of show you know the units you know what what kind of you know where, where they kind of rate from one to five um, how important they are um, and of course I'm um, looking at something like this the units that uh, rank in the four to five are definitely ones to consider but obviously you want to shoot for the ones with the highest ranking so this allows you to look at um, various units various skills and how they rank according to um, a group of people that have been in the Guardian ranks for a very long time. So this is their information, um, their insight to the game based on um, here. So uh, definitely take a look at this. This is a nice compilation from Oh My God uh, Bomber and the uh, Summoners War community with him that's helped him out, uh, you know, categorize this. 
Um, big shout out to those guys. Um, again, if you have any questions or concerns, go to the official forums and post it down there in the uh, forum section, in the comment section over there, so you can uh, take a look at this. Um, keep in mind, because I see this time and time and again, there's a lot of things uh, that you see in these monster lists, that, not this one in particular, but other monster lists that sometimes you may not agree with. Um, but again, if you are like me in the uh, you know Conquer 3 rank or below, Keep in mind that the information provided to you, just like I state in the disclaimer of all my underrated and overlooked videos, is based on the knowledge and experience of people um, that have had a lot of playing time in the Guardian 1, 2, and 3 ranks. So while it may not seem like the best unit to you because maybe you tested and didn't get a lot out of it, these guys had the opportunity as well as the, the finances to mix around a lot of units, a lot of runes, a lot of setups, and figure out which one is the best bang for the buck. So I think this is uh, an overall amazing tool and I think everybody should be utilizing this, all right? All right, that is it. I am done, it's time to get some lunch. It's your boy Childish for Childish Plays. Check it out, take care, we'll see you next time, I'm out.